guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy. Uh, I'm gonna do a different kind of video than I have been doing because my memory is terrible. And so I've been doing a end of the month wrap up for the last few months, but I've realized that by the time the end of the month rolls around, I've really forgotten a lot of the things that I would wanna talk about um, from like the earlier books that I read in the month. So I think this month I'm gonna try to talk about the books as I'm reading them and just like put all the little clips together at the end. So with that being said, I just got into my car and went to listen to Three by Ted Decker and thought this might be a good time to like introduce you guys to what I am currently reading so then I can talk about it as I'm reading through it. So right now, uh, as I said, I am listening to Three by Ted Decker. I'm about halfway through that book, and that book is wild, absolutely wild. It could be a movie. It, it probably should be a movie. I don't know if any of Ted Decker's books have been made into movies, but I can definitely see how they would make good ones. <laughs> so Three is about a guy, I think his name is Kevin, and he gets this random phone call on his cell phone from a stranger named Slater, and Slater tells him that, uh, one, he has to solve this weird riddle that Slater tells him, and two, he needs to confess a sin that he's done in the past, and Kevin doesn't uh, know what he's supposed to confess. He's like racking his brain trying to figure out like what sin is this guy talking about? So Slater basically tells him if you don't do the things that I'm telling you to do, I'm going to blow up your car. This is in the very beginning, so I'm not giving away a spoiler. Uh, but then the story progresses from there and Slater keeps threatening Kevin and um, threatening people around him. So there's FBI involved and it is just really good. It's like got me on the edge of my seat and I want to keep listening to it. I have the hard copy of it also. I started reading it in book form, but then I realized it was on script. So I started listening to it as well. I don't love the guy who does the narration for it. He sounds like a pretty old man and Kevin is kind of young. So I just don't think the voices match up in my head, but um, I am loving the book. And it is my first uh, Ted Decker book. So I've read The Girl Behind the Red Rope. Pretty sure that's what it's called. And it's Ted Decker and his daughter. So this is the first one that I'm reading that's just from Ted Decker. So there's that one. And I've already finished this month. What is today? I think it's July 6th, I think. So I've already finished if I Run by Terry Blackstock. That one is hugely popular. Everybody is talking about it. It gets amazing ratings and I can totally see why. So uh, that is, um, is a thriller, Christian fiction thriller, I would say. Uh, and that is about a girl named Casey Cox who uh, walks in on a murder scene and she gets accused of the murder and she takes off um, like on the lamb because uh, of things in her past that lead her to believe that she will get um, blamed and that she won't be able to um, be pronounced innocent. <laughs> I'm not describing this very well. I don't want to give away like spoilers and whatnot but again this is very fast paced. Uh, I really like all the parts where she's on the run and she's figuring out how to stay hidden, different things that she's doing. As soon as I finished If I Run, I started the next book, which is If, if I'm Found, maybe, I think. Um, so yeah, I started the next book and I finished that one also. Um, Again, very fast paced. I bought a three book thing on my Kindle. So I've been reading this at night on my Paperwhite and so all three books are together. So I don't even realize that I'm finishing one and starting the next one. It just kind of all blurs together. Uh, but yeah, I've already finished book two, which 
was kind of a tougher read than book one. There's something happening in book two. There's like another storyline going on that was really hard for me to read about uh, because like I related to it in a way because of something um, from my past that I don't like reading about. And so I guess you would kind of say it's like a trigger thing for me. I don't know, but um, it was still excellent and very well done. And then I started book three which I cannot think of the name of it. If I stay, if I live, if I live, I think, I don't know. So I started book three uh, last night and I'm already, I think 20% into that. These are really fast books. So once you start one, I would suggest having the next two books on hand cause you will wanna like read the whole thing, thing through to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I am a little the ways through book three. Those are all the current books that I'm reading. Still reading through the Bible. I think I'm in Two Kings something. And I just read the book of Jonah because it's chronological. And so Jonah was in Second Kings. <laughs> uh, so that's where I'm at with that. And I'm going to be picking up Death on the Nile any day now. Like when I have a second to sit down and breathe, I'm gonna pick up that book. <laughs> I will continue to update you guys on my reading throughout the month, so I will see you soon. All right guys, I am back with another book that I just got started. Uh, I am sitting in my car waiting for my kid to get done with an appointment. And so I brought this book with me today because it's an hour long appointment. And the book is Live Not By Lies, A Manual for Christian Dissidents by Rod Dreher. I think that's how you say his name. Not really sure. So how do I describe this book? Um, basically, it is full of interviews from people who grew up in communist countries, mainly the Soviet bloc, and it's their warning to Americans today saying that they are seeing the signs of communism coming here and they don't want to hear because they escaped it and it's horrible. So um, they are trying to wake us up and to let us see, you know, what's happening around us and things that we can do to fight against it. Um, this is a Christian book and it talks a lot about how Christians can fight against this sort of ideology and uh, talks about what happened to Christians. Um, in communist countries. I actually have two friends who were born and raised um, in communism, one in the Ukraine and one in Serbia. Well, I guess at the time it was Russia, but um, they both said that they weren't allowed to be religious at all. There was no religion growing up. They didn't celebrate Christmas or Easter. It wasn't allowed. Uh, they didn't know anything about that stuff until they came here in their 20s. And um, they said people who did try to um, be Christians were killed or put into prison. So uh, my friends used to talk about this to me years ago that they were seeing the signs of that stuff happening here. And now there is this book talking about it. And I find this stuff incredibly fascinating and informative. So yeah, um, I am going to be reading this during my hour in the car. I just started it. I read the introduction and it's super good. So I will just continue reading it and let you know what I think. Hello guys. Welcome back to another day. I ended up finishing the final book in the If I Run trilogy. Finished that up the other night and I kind of wanted to sit on my thoughts on it for a few days because I really wasn't sure what I thought about that one. Uh, it was good. It's very fast paced, um, wrapped up nicely, but, um, and I don't want to give any spoilers away. So if you've read the series, you'll know what I'm talking about. I did not like how quickly something happened at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, something happened, uh, just super fast. And I was like, wait, no, no, that is way too fast. <laughs> like, that's not right. I just, yeah, I wasn't thrilled about that. So, yeah, 
I would take a point away for that, definitely. So anyway, the books were very good, very enjoyable. I definitely love uh, Terry Blackstock's writing. I actually think I preferred, what was it? The Christmas one. She wrote a Christmas book. Catching Christmas? Was that what it was called? I can't remember. Oshina talked about it, and she loved it, and it made me want to read it, and I loved it. And that, so far, is my favorite of her books. And so, yeah, I want to read more. I have Smokescreen by her on my Kindle, and so I think I will read that soon. Uh, I am also about halfway through Live Not By Lies, the book I just talked about in the last clip. And that book is outstanding. It is so informative. I thought I knew quite a bit about like the Bolsheviks and the Russian Revolution and things like that, but I am learning so much more from this book. And I think it should be required reading, honestly. So, yeah. And then it ties in with what's happening in Cuba right now. There's all these protests in Cuba. They're fighting against communism. So, yeah, it's very interesting to be reading this book at this time. Really liking it. Uh, so, yeah, that is currently where I'm at. Uh, actually, Bible-wise, I don't know if I mentioned where I was at in the Bible, but I am working through 2 Kings. And because it's a chronological read this time, it is super cool because... I'm reading parts of 2 Kings, and then I'm skipping ahead to Isaiah because Isaiah was a prophet during the time of one of the kings. And so reading it this way chronologically is so helpful. I'm getting so much more out of it because of the timeline. It makes me understand it a whole lot more. So I just read chapters 1 through 8 of Isaiah and read the book of Amos because the prophet Amos was at the same time also. So I'm really loving reading this chronologically. Hello again. Uh, it is a few days later. I think today is the 15th, so it's a good day to end this video. And then I will try to do this again for the second half of July because I think this is working better for me than trying to remember details at the end of the month about all the books I'm reading. Uh, I just finished, let me turn this around. I just finished this one, three by Ted Decker a few minutes ago. So um, it is quite fresh in my head. What do I think about this? This is a tough one. Um, again, this is another book that I've read this month that has hit really close to home for me. Um, I cannot give any details of this book away because it's just one of those books that it has all these twists and turns and I can't give anything away. I just can't. I will say in general, that there are uh, topics, there is a topic in this book that I do not like reading about. I don't like watching movies about it because it hits very close to home. Um, and it's just very, um, it's just upsetting to me, <laughs> the, the thing that's in this book that I try to avoid, but it's not like Ted Decker could really put what that is in the description of the book because that would give that would give so much away and you can't do that because this is I would say this is like a thriller maybe horror ish maybe um so yeah I if I was aware of the thing that was in here I wouldn't have picked this one up <laughs> Uh, but since I didn't know, I went ahead and read the whole book and because I was so invested in the storyline, I finished the book and I will say that it was written very well. I think he did a good job, but, um, I have a lot of thoughts on authors that use this thing as part of their storyline. And I can't discuss those thoughts because I'm giving away spoilers. So 
uh, yeah, not an easy book to review. Uh, but yeah, I did finish this book. I am still working my way through Live Not, what is this called? Live Not By Lies. Um, more than halfway through this book. Outstanding. Love it. If you guys have read any of these books, let me know what your thoughts are on them. Especially three. If you've read three, let me know if you loved it. If you didn't love it, I don't know. So yeah, let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you all have a great week and I will see y'all soon. Bye.